on the anniversary of his death, flowers lay atop the tombstone of Edgar Allan Poe. But in the graveyard of Westminster Hall, mystery remains about a birthday tradition started in the 1940s. Each year, a man who became known as the Poe Toaster would leave three roses and an expensive bottle of cognac. Of course, everyone wants to know why was he doing it, who it was, but uh, I think it was the mystery of it all which captivated people from around the world. In 2009, the Poe Toaster became a no-show, creating speculation about his death. Now, six years later, the search is on. We are hosting a competition to um, name the next Poe Toaster. A competition American Idol style. Katie Kaljean with the Maryland Historical Society says it's all just for fun, not to revive their tradition, but to drum up interest in Poe. And they're looking for creative applications. You know, a song, it could be interpretive dance, it could be dramatic reading, it could be some sort of art creation installation. By doing this in a fun way, it brings attention to Poe, to the graveyard, to the Westminster Hall, and whenever Poe gets attention, I'm all for it. The winner will get to toast Poe in a special January celebration, carrying the torch of the man who started it all. And then throughout the year, there will be other opportunities for the toaster to appear and to represent the city of Baltimore, kind of like Miss America. The deadline to apply is October 23rd, with the finalists being announced, of course, on Halloween, and the winners will be judged a week later. For more details, you can go to our website. Here at Westminster Hall, Jennifer Francietti, WBAL-TV 11 News.